Now, many of us have been on a plane and you know that before takeoff, they go over the safety measures and so forth and so on. And one of the precautions is that if in an emergency, the air mask deploys from above, you are to put that mask on yourself first before assisting others. So basically they're saying to secure, secure yourself and well-being first, and then you can go about helping other people. And this can easily be applied to life across the board and the way that we live. Because you're no good to anybody else if you're not good first. How many times have you heard, or maybe you've said it yourself, oh, I gave my all to this relationship. I gave my all to, to this man or to this woman. Oh, I gave my job, my everything. I showed up every day and, you know, I gave them all that I got. Gave my all to this relationship. I give everything to my kids. I gave everything, but there's nothing left for you. You gotta have something left for you. I mean, it sounds good to be the martyr. It sounds good to sort of fall on the sword of Damocles and, and basically save others before saving yourself. It sounds good. It sounds like what you should be doing. And I even touched on this before that a lot of women, not that men don't, but a lot of women, because we have a nurturing spirit, most of us, we find ourselves in these situations where we're giving every last bit every last drop of ourselves. We wring ourselves out until there's nothing left. But I would offer and caution you to leave some for yourself. You gotta leave a little bit of you left for you. I mean, it's very easy to be caught up into these titles of life, whether it be wife, husband, mother, caretaker, business associate, lawyer, boss lady, whatever. It's very easy to tie up your energy as well as your identity in all of these titles. I mean, you get so lost in these titles and the roles that they command that we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves and who we really are. What core values you have, what you actually like. Do you even like going to that restaurant? Do you even like that song that's been played over and over again? But because so-and-so likes it, you figure I'm not going make a fuss do you even know what brings you joy anymore if you really were to audit what is going who you are now in life it's time to check in with yourself you know it's, it's time to check in with yourself unplug and not get swept away by the wave of roles that we often play in life and everything has its purpose. You want to be a good wife, a good helpmate. You want to be a good business associate. You want to be a doting and caring mother. You want to be these things. You want to be the best at what you do and what you offer. But the cheat code is to be an asset, okay? To be an asset without being a deficit to yourself. When you're at your best, you can give your best. Even if you're at 50%, you can give better than when you're at zero. And you know, when a car runs, you know, and you're getting close to E and you can feel your, your car, well, it depends on the car, but your car may start to shake and the light comes on. And that is a sign that you need some gas. You need to pull over, go over to the gas station and, and fill up. It's giving you a warning. It's giving you a warning sign that, hey, this, this ain't going to turn out too good if we, we keep going at this level and not replenish. Well, it's the same for us. You need to unplug and take care of yourself. You want to be giving of spirit, giving of time, giving of all these things. However, you don't want to give, 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 and then have nothing left to give to yourself. Because if you give everything and have nothing left, the warning signs are going to come up. Just like with the car, the warning signs are going to come up, not just physically as far as feeling run down, but you may find yourself in a place where you can't even give anymore. You are no longer effective. You need to check in with yourself. You need to give yourself a check up, a tune up. Make sure your engine is oiled and, and, and running right. You want to make sure you got gas in the tank for yourself. You got to replenish your emotional and physical resources in order to be the best, not only for yourself, but for others, because you cannot pour from an empty cup.
You can't give to others what you don't already have for yourself first. You can't love on others properly if you don't have love for yourself first. You can't care for others unless you really care about yourself first. You can't. Not effectively. And it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable to run on empty. You are just as important as all these other causes and all these other people that you are taking care of, you are an important part of the equation. So count yourself in as one of those that you're taking care of. Put yourself on the list. Put yourself on the to-do list. Put yourself on the calendar. Schedule some time for yourself. Because I'm going to tell you, again, a lot of times we get into this go mode and we just on automatic. And I've been there too. You're on automatic. You're taking care of this. You're taking care of that. And da 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 And sooner than you know it, you turn around. The day has totally gone or time has passed. And you look around. You're just like, where did the time go? I... I don't even recognize myself. How did I even get here? I don't recognize myself. I don't recognize my voice. I don't even know who I am anymore. You know how you hear people getting lost and caught up in their marriages where they've been married for a long time and at the end of however many years, person doesn't recognize themselves. Now I'm going to say woman because I'm a woman and I've, I've heard other women say this, but they don't even recognize themselves at, at, at the end and god forbid if the marriage falls apart they don't even know where to start they don't even know where to start to rebuild themselves because they poured so much into the role of being a wife and all these other roles as far as helpmate caretaker housemaker whatever that they left nothing left for themselves they never checked in on themselves they always checked in on the house the husband the this the job and never checked in where they were emotionally where they were mentally what they want what they like, what they like to eat, what really matters to them. So for this year of 2023, I'm asking that if anyone finds themselves in this particular momentum, pump the brakes. It's okay to schedule time with yourself and get reacquainted with exactly who you are and what you like. And it's okay to put the mask on yourself before you assist and put it on anybody else. Help you first. That way you have enough to help other people. It's called self-care. You know, there's an old commercial where there's a woman and I think a whole bunch of chaos is going on around her as far as her kids are out of order, the husband wants dinner and something else breaks in the house and this and that. And out of a feeling of just being overwhelmed, she puts her hands up and says, Calgon, take me away. Well, guess what? We can't wait on Calgon. We got to take ourselves away. We got to schedule time with ourselves. Make sure you're okay. You know, these, there's even a commercial where a woman hides out in the bathroom because, you know, her kids have been bothering her all day. And she just, she just wants some time to eat some cookies. She's in the bathtub and she, you know, the kids are knocking on the door and she's just, you know, acting like she's not there and she's just eating cookies she just wanted a little bit of me time you know what i mean and i think we all can relate whether we have kids or not you know you just want a little bit of me time to check in on yourself make sure to get in touch with exactly who you are touch base with yourself now and again you know how you call your old friend from time to time say hey i'm just checking in well check in with yourself the same goes for you you check in on the well-being of others from time to time. It's time for you to check in on you. How are you doing? How are you feeling? You know what I mean? It's okay to wear a cape now and again and, and help people out. But it's even better to hang that cape up sometimes. Instead of being Superman all the time, you can be Clark Kent. Clark Kent plays an important role as well. You don't have to be super all the time. Superwoman, Superman, whatever. It's okay to be human. It's okay to be human and check in on yourself. And it's okay to ask for help. You don't always have to do it by yourself. You know, you don't have to be the modern. Oh, I got this. Meanwhile, you're struggling. It's okay to ask for help. And it's okay to delegate too. Again, you don't have to take this all on your shoulders. It's okay to delegate and divvy out the tasks. Help you 
help other people by helping you first. Take time to replenish and refuel because you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't give what's not already there. You got to make sure you have it first in order to give it to other people. It's time to stop giving every last drop to everyone else and save some of yourself for you. And with that, we are going to put a button on it.